Hello everyone and welcome. Hi. We're doing a review today of a game called Hotline Miami. It's a game where you play as a psychopathic killer known as Jacket. The aim of the game is to show up at various locations that you're ordered to go to by random voicemail messages and proceed to beat the living hell out of everybody inside of said building. It's a very graphic and violent game, but it's all filtered through pixel art, so it's not incredibly... Well, not incredibly gory. There's still... I'd, I'd say it's, it's a like lot, It is gory, but... Yeah. It's pixelated gore, so I, I it's not like, as bad, yeah. right? <clears throat> it's, you know, it's, it's not real. It's not actual blood. It's just pixels on the screen. But you like, say that about all kind of video games at that point, but I mean, in this game specifically, it's specifically, pix yeah, yeah, yeah. pixel art. You know, one of the great things about this game is that in some ways you could record it as a puzzle game. When you actually think about it for a moment, it is actually very much a puzzle game. Trying to figure out what mask you're going to wear as each mask you wear in the game gives you certain advantages and disadvantages like being able to see further into the map or be able to kill people by bashing them with doors mm -hmm. or immediately just start the game with a gun. Obviously we're talking about this game because we both played it this week. Mm. I'll be honest, I didn't get through a lot of the game um, because while I can appreciate the fact that it is enjoyable and I did enjoy playing it for a while, uh, I kept raging. I, I couldn't get through it, I kept getting angry at the game because it was so damn difficult. That is understandable, it is quite, can be quite a difficult game, but that's the kind of thing I like about it though, right. is that it is challenging. The whole thing about the primary gameplay loop of the game is that it's very fast reaction times, and so when you die you could immediately just restart try again, dead, restart try again, dead, restart try again. I can appreciate it though because again, like you said, the pixel art graphics are really cool, very unique. I think. And most importantly, uh, the soundtrack. Oh, it's I, so good. I, I usually don't like that kind of music, but for some reason, the soundtrack really spoke to me. Mm. It just kind of worked within the, the context of the well, game. Well, the whole style that the game is going for is very like uh, neon 80s, and the music just complements all of it so well. It really does. Like everything from the visuals, like it's from the loading screens, where it's just like that classic neon polygon esque loading screen, to the clothing that you see that the characters wear. Yeah, exactly. And the types of buildings that you go into. The types I mean, of characters I mean, the meet. Russians themselves are like full on Miami Vice white suit <laughs> yeah. kind of gangsters. Which is awesome as well, like it's, it's great attention to detail in that regard as well and I can definitely appreciate that. So if I, if I were to have to give the game a rating, I would still give it a solid 7 out of 10. Because mm. I, do, I do think that it is a fun game. If you, if you are the kind of person who can like go th get through the game and like put your frustrations away and play through it, I'm sure that there's a really cool story behind it. Um, I appreciate the graphics, I think they're very unique and I like the soundtrack so I think I'm going to settle on a 7 out of 10. Well, for me, uh, personally, I see this as one of my favorite games. Okay. To be honest, I'm kind of like, I'm kind of like in like a different perspective of you because I actually really enjoy um, the gameplay itself mm. and the whole uh, fast-paced dynamics, dynamics of the whole thing. How it doesn't take too long to immediately get back in the fight, and uh, that kind of helps it a little bit because the whole game is about going into fits of rage and then busting into buildings, going yeah. on massive murder sprees. And what it feels like when you're playing the game is that the more you let your, the more frustration that kind of builds up and the more you're kind of getting into character so that your attitude mirrors the kind of gameplay that's trying to be achieved. I also find the story very fascinating to me because I, I finished the whole game, all right? Not unlike Ron over here. I actually completed the whole game. So I know what happened, so no spoilers, no spoilers, of course. But the story itself I found very fascinating as it dives deep into the psyche of our main character. As things start to warp and change around him, it all adds to the suspense and mystery about who this character is and why he's doing what he's doing. And I just found it deeply enriching. I, I, just, I, like, I like this game. I, I just like the game. <laughs> Fair enough. So, so out of a 10, what would you give it? I'd probably give it a 9. Okay. 9 out of 10. Okay, that's respectable, mm -hmm. I think. Because like, I always find that no game is perfect. Sure. Yeah. There probably are like some flaws that I'm failing to remember at some point in time. But for now, I like to give it a strong 9 out of 10. Well, there you have it. Uh, we reviewed Hotline Miami 2. Um, go play it. Go play it. Buy the game. 
it's it's pretty good, especially if you like that kind of game. It's on Steam right now for twelve pounds. Actually, eleven ninety nine. But you know, parents, if you're watching, make sure you play it first before you let your kids see it. Yes, because you will probably enjoy it more. <laughs> Thank you very much, and uh, stay, stay safe, safe, gamers. gamers.